hello and welcome to my channel. This is my very first official video after the launch video. If you haven't checked out the launch video yet, please do that and join me in celebrating this special moment with me. And so for today's video, let's dive right in into one of the most essential topics, which is how are we actually working and functioning as humans in this world we live in? So if you think about it, back in the days when we were cavemen, we, were, we would have so many drives and so many patterns and behaviors that we needed to survive. So that would really aid us in ensuring our survival, ensuring our recreation and ensuring not being killed and living another day and thereby passing on our genetic code, which is from an evolutionary point of view, extremely important. So here comes the interesting part because we still run around in this world with this genetic coding. So we're really outdated when it comes to that. The problem though is our environment has changed. So our environment nowadays, as we all know, has evolved so quickly and we're living in such a modern society. So in general, if you look at it, you have these two strands and you can see we have the evolutionary coding and we have evolution in its function, in its natural function. And then we have our society environment and our development there. So our evolutionary code obviously also um, changes over time. But the problem is that our environment has changed so much quicker. So that basically means, to put it simply, we are outdated human beings living in a modern world where we have no idea how to actually function in that world. So we're still running around with an ancestry code. We're still running around with a completely outdated code and completely outdated drives. This was very, very beneficial to us from an evolutionary point of view for our survival. However, that code and that coding didn't have calculated in all the factors that we are experiencing on a daily basis now in our modern societies. So that accounts for so many different aspects. That accounts for just managing your thoughts and just managing all the information that you are taking in every single day. So we have an attention selection instinct in us, which was really helpful to aid us and guide us as cavemen because we were able to very quickly assess information and to very quickly, with the help of the so-called binary thinking, evaluate if something is dangerous or not dangerous. So it's not a gray area, but yes, no, dangerous, not dangerous, risky, not risky. The problem though is we have so much more information that we have to evaluate nowadays. So this is the first aspect where we're running really into problems because we don't know how to do that. And our mind is not trained for that. Our mind is still looking for survival instincts and is still looking for survival situations. And so the main aspect that we are dealing and struggling with in a modern society is that we are so outdated from everything that's happening around us. So that leads us to situations where we are over and over and over every day, 24 seven are being confronted with false realities, with false risks, you name it. There are so many faults that are happening to us every single day, every minute of every day that our mind needs to evaluate. The problem though is our mind evaluates this information on a basis and on a pers from a perspective of our evolutionary coding. So how would that actually work? You can already see how that is a big problem if we're not paying attention to that. And so this is everything I want to share within here. And this is also the work I'm doing with my clients to really, really train yourself and the people around you to be able to manage your awareness, to be able to properly respond to all these triggers. So I'm happy you're here and I can share this information with you. Make sure to stay tuned, like, subscribe and tune back in to learn more about this entire topic.